boys, we're jigging a few fish here now, and uh, the old man back there, his name is William. My name is William. I got a son, William, and today we got a special guest, William, nephew out here from uh, Nova Scotia, and he's here jigging a few fish, and we're jigging just inside of William's Harbor here, so, so I'm going to lower the camera down and see if we can see the tide get any jigger. Oh, well, we'll move over here a little bit further, and then you up there. marks here now. He lines up Shinny's point with a point on the other side and uh, he lines up a knob here on Shinny's with a knob on the heel in the background and uh, that's how he used to mark the shoals years ago. No GPS's back then, you know. Yeah, he's a nice one. Keep him. Oh, he's a dandy. Hold, hold, hold here. I got to Oh, no. oh dear, look at that. Whoa, buddy, what a fish, what a fish. Hold on. Yeah. And that's the catch of the day right there. That's the catch of the day. Young William here from uh, Nova Scotia jigging with us, nephew. And man, that's a beautiful fish. Wow. Here comes. Hand over hand. Oh, that's a nice fish over there too, the old man got. Ooh, boy, look at that. Whoa, 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 whoa what a fish. Oh, what a fish. Oh, my God, that's a dandy. That's the one in the corn. Oh, you got a nice one there too, buddy. Keep her coming, nice fish. Nice fish. Oh, you lost him. Oh, he's a big one. That's all right, let her go down again. All right, only needs one more and we'll have her tend in, so uh, we'll go in there. Grab her head. Hey, put the head to get all in there. Can you look there? That's it, put the bundle there. Let's see what's on. Two hands if you got to. Well, anyway, guys, it didn't take us very long to get our tin fish. And this one here is the catch of the day, of course. And this one's a bit heavy. I'll help you with this one, my buddy. So we're going to clean these up, and uh, i got a tree here, I'm going to clean those up the stew for supper. And as you can see, I cut their throats, so I'll let them bleed out. And uh, I might probably filter off a couple of these for to fry, and these big ones are going to split the corn and that. So but anyway, I'm going to get these cleaned up here now, and uh, we're also going to keep the liver of them. I'm going to use the liver to get the oil for some lure I'm making, and uh, we'll cut out the big heads, and we'll keep the britches, and... Uh, also, niece is down there too, and she wants to get the, there's little bones back here, ear bones. And people use them for making jewelry, so uh, we'll show you how we take those out too in a minute. So, so anyway, we're going to get these cleaned up here a bit now. And this is young William Malloway from Nova Scotia, nephew. And he's having a blast here, out, jigging a few fish and stuff. So, so anyway, we'll get at this here now. That's it. Oh, yeah. That's enough. That's good. Now, come here, show you now. See all that black stuff there? I want you to pick that black stuff and rub that off there, like just to make it a little. See it? Clean it off like that there. We'll clean all that off there. That's what we're going to have for a stubber. We'll clean that up there now. So, all this, uh, they're okay. See the tail pieces? It's just, it's just on those with the sound. Huh? And they'll all come right off there now. So, we'll so clean that up there. With this one here, I'm gonna I'm just gonna cut down line by the end towards the skin there a little bit, and do the same thing on the other side. If you want to, you, you tear back the vein like that. And it's the easy way, just take the skin off. And there you have it. This one here. And that's the 
the ear bones. That almost looks like ivory. I don't know, maybe it is. I'm not really sure, but that almost looks like little uh, seashells or something. Huh? So, so anyway, I'm going to save all those for them. And uh, show that again here now. So, this is the hot, uh, head cod head. We're after, we're after cutting out the cod head here. And I just usually just cut it right down through the center. And that way, you're going to have an ear bone on each side. And they're a little bit hard to find sometimes, you know. And uh, just like this one, let me see here. Okay, I see one down right here. Oh, another one just fell out on his own. I'm gonna cut him up. So that's the two ear bones right there. And another thing now is uh, the cod eyeball. They're really tasty. And. Uh, if you cut the cod all open, there's like a little gummy bear in there. A little round ball, and he's kind of chewy. There he is. And, uh, really? Oh. Just like a gummy bear. And, uh, I don't eat many of them, but I got so many buddies that eat an awful lot of them. So, enjoy the one, try one. You good? Okay, just cut the eyeball open. And there he is, a little round ball of gummy bear. And uh, sister's gonna try one. No. Really? No. Well, are you sure? Okay. <laughs> so I'll have to eat him out. There you go. Well, anyway, that's the air bones there from the codfish. And uh, I guess the girls would be making some earrings and stuff out of, out of them. Looks like those shells, huh? So I'll put them away for him there now. Well, anyway, guys, that's the, the liver that come out of the codfish, and I'm going to put that in a jar and render it out and uh, make some get some cod liver oil, and I'm going to use that oil in making a, a lure, and uh, I guess we'll see how that works out later on, I guess, so, so anyway. Well, anyway, guys, uh, pretty cool. Uh, nephew wanted the autograph, so this is what he's going to be taking back to Nova Scotia with. Labrador flag, autograph, big land trapper, so... Bring it up to him now.